zero product property. Let's consider the equation a times b equals zero, where a is just some number and b is another number. If we were to force a to be, say, five, then what value of b would make this equation true? The only possible value of b that would make it true would be b equals zero. And this brings us to the zero product property, which for two terms is if a times b equals zero, then a equals zero or b equals zero. And we generally use this property when we're working with a factored form of a polynomial set equal to zero. Let's look at the quantity x plus three times the quantity x minus two equal to zero. Here we can treat the x plus three as a and the x minus two as b, and we can rewrite this as if x plus three times x minus two equals zero, then x plus three equals zero or x minus two equals zero. And we reach this conclusion because of the zero product property. Now that we got x plus three equal to zero, we simply want to isolate x on the left side. So we would subtract three and we'd get x equals negative three. And then for x minus two equals zero, we would add two to both sides and get x equals positive two. This tells us that x equals negative three and x equals two are solutions to our equation. And remember, you can always check your solutions by plugging them back into the equation and verifying that zero equals zero. This also isn't limited to the product of two binomials. Consider this equation here. Using the zero product property, we would set each binomial equal to zero, and then for each one, we would just solve for x. And so for this problem, we would have four values of x that satisfy the equation. This is Joe, and thanks for spending some time with me.